This was my first attempt at making a steel shoe for flat track motorcycle racing. These reduce the friction between your foot and the ground so that you can slide with the bike. I wanted to make one instead of buying it, and this is what I came up with, and it seems to be working pretty well. So now I'm just gonna trace this thing and then take a picture of it with my phone with a measurement on it for reference so I can scale it. I decided to draft this in a CAD program to generate my flat patterns and then CNC plaz cut out the pieces. As I was forming and welding the side on, it all came around and met up at the back within like an eighth of an inch. So it was really cool that the, the modeling created a usable flat pattern and that I could just recut all these parts and just make another shoe. For our first attempt, I'm super excited. It's like modeling actually works. I didn't even have like a sandbag to hammer this into, so I just took the toe and put it on top of a blanket and with a ball peen hammer, I hammered it into most of the shape and then in a vise pulled the bottom corner in and then continued hammering that into the blanket to get it to roll and form. So I think I'm gonna cut it way back because I don't want to capture all that toe. And I do think it needs to come up a little bit, but I might just put a gap between the two parts and then just weld the gap shut because I'm going to grind it anyway. Yeah. So I put some relief cuts into it. Um, because of how tight the boot's going to fit into the shoe. So as I'm tacking it around, I can pull these up and add a little bit of volume in the toe, and then I'll just have to weld and uh, blend it all back down. The fit wasn't perfect. I ended up with the profile that was too short. I had to add length to it. Really no big deal, but knowing that now, I could come up with a better design with three without having to do a lot of secondary processing, a lot of rework, I could probably get it done in half the time. I had my buddy Kai add all the hard facing on. Uh, the welding process for me, without having like gloves or protection for my feet, it's just too much welding. And I didn't want to take on the burn, so I had my buddy that's outfitted better for this process, hard face the shoe after I had made it. So I just took one of these spring clips that hold your hitch pin in, and I cut the back of it off flipped it around and then welded it back on. And I got a nice little piece of spring steel welded to the back that the strap hooks through nicely. Overall, it works well. It slides well. I can tell that there's a little bit of traction because of the lows in the bottom, but that'll all be remedied. I like the performance of it. I like the fit of it. I like the weight of it. It's seemingly pretty light. I don't have a lot of comparisons to justify how light it is, but it slides well. I got a little bit of rework to do on the hard facing. Got some low spots I need to fill and smooth out and polish the bottom again. But I'm, I'm really content with how it came out and how it functions.